going on. I am very excited to talk with our next guest, and I think you're going to be as well, because if you are looking for a summer beach read, uh, perhaps you're looking to spend some time kind of delving in a little bit more to your faith and some uh, deep thought, this is going to be, I think, the book for you. It's called Faith in the West Wing. Dave Grebill is the author. He is the pastor at Signal Crest. United Methodist Church up on the mountain. Nice to see you. It's great to be here. Uh, I think this is a fascinating commonality we have because I was a huge West Wing fan and so were you. Absolutely, absolutely. The show came out my last year of seminary um, and when I finally had some time to watch television yeah. um, and I thought, hey, this looks like an interesting show. It had some interesting cast members um, and it had me hooked from the very beginning. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess I don't want to age either one of us, but that was back in the 90s, That right? was uh, the fall of 1999. Okay. Yeah, and it ran for seven seasons. If we were to have a show like that on television now, it would probably be a little bit difficult because surprisingly faith was interwoven throughout it and that's kind of what you've capitalized on in this book right that, that's right yeah one of the things from the very first episode had a sort of a spat between religious leaders and the government uh, administration and I thought well that's interesting I'll see if they play that out throughout the rest of the show and they did they would weave those themes and um, practices into the show very um, sort of subtly but uh, uh, and I was very impressed with how they did that. So. Uh, if the joke is on me because I don't have my reading glasses on right now, so I can't really uh -huh. read it well. But I think what you told me you've done here is you've taken some, probably for a lot of people, familiar episodes. Mm -hmm. um, and you use those as a guide to kind of your own self-reflection because faith doesn't look the same for everybody. Right, right. And I try to provide uh, or allow room for everyone from different perspectives to enter into it wherever they're coming from. Mm -hmm. um, and to use those episodes kind of as a framework for asking some questions, mm -hmm. um, which I think the episodes themselves do really well. Mm -hmm. They don't really solve things in night and east nice neat packages they really just open up questions and room for conversation boy I'll pick your brain I mean because mm -hmm. we haven't plotted this at all uh -huh. but there's a lot of power in there in asking questions mm -hmm. that's how you learn absolutely absolutely and so each of the uh, chapters has some questions at the end uh, for either personal reflection or group discussions one of the Sunday school classes at Signal Crest uh, where I'm serving now used it and, and I think they have said they really enjoyed the questions because it really opened up conversation. I didn't try to prescribe particular perspectives, mm -hmm. just to open up some possibilities. For so them. for you, your writing process, because it just published in January, mm -hmm. did you go back and kind of binge watch certain episodes and see kind of what you took out of it with each watching? I did. There are some of those episodes I've seen I don't know how many times. Um, and it also helped the week after Christmas that one of the networks, I think Headline Networks, uh, showed the whole series for an it. entire week. Yes. And so my wife was like, you have seen these. What are you doing? And I'm like, I was worthless for that whole week. But, yeah. Um, so yeah, you can rewatch these episodes and get new things out of them each time. I, I know that it's for either your own self-reflection or with the group, but we do, I'm sure you hear this all the time too from people in your life. We live an increasingly busy life. We're all scattered mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, the day ends and we're just still kind of frazzled. Mm -hmm. There is something about watching the I'll use the stability of mm -hmm. the Jeb Bartlett character mm -hmm. in the West Wing that always it was his faith that he would come back to, mm -hmm. even when he doubted. Right, right, absolutely. And even when he had to make decisions that would go against maybe what his personal faith would have, mm -hmm. um, you could see him wrestling with that. And mm -hmm. I think that's what resonated with me and with I think a lot of other folks that I've talked to is the wrestling with the faith. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't really give easy answers, but it can kind of help us um, provide a framework to, to explore it. You're a dad of two boys. I'm a, a mother of two daughters. Uh, you look at young people and you can remember what you were like kind of at that age. Is your faith, do you think, intended to be something that grows and shifts and changes as you go through a life journey too? I think absolutely. One of uh, the professors at the seminary where I, where I went to school had a, a book called Stages of Faith and he sort of charge it, charted out how that can change over the course of a lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that that's very true in my own life, in the lives of 
others that I've talked to, mm -hmm. it, it can certainly change. It can deepen. Um, you can question things along the way. Mm -hmm. um, certitudes that you used to think you had. Right. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations on the book. And the next time they have uh, a week of episodes, I'll think about you because I'll be binge watching them too. I'll, I'll be right there. Where do we get the book? So you can get it on Amazon. Um, you can also, here in town, Book and Cover has some copies. Great. Um, you can also get it on Barnes & Noble or, or directly from the publisher too. Faith in the West Wing is what it's called. Get it. It can be part of a book club, perhaps your Sunday school class, uh, but read it and then have a conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look no further than Mercantile at the Ridge for that unique home furnishing or collectible. The same familiar location, new management, and a refreshing shopping experience with over 125 individual shops. Find what you're looking for at Mercantile at the Ridge, Ringgold Road.